Um, do you feel that your best racing is behind you, or is there still an upside to you and the big the big races? Well, be honest with my being honest with myself. I have had a level of fitness in 2004, 2005, and 2006 um, that I can't maintain for a long time as I could at that at that period of my life, simply because I was able to train so much and to take so much. Um, I was mentally and physically, um, you know, very very strong and capable of a lot of training. And uh, this is behind me. I, I simply I couldn't train as I could when I was 25 years old. And but most athletes you'll ask that are 35 or above will give you the same answer. On the other hand, you are much wiser now, and uh, you can peak for some races. You know, you might be able to have an extremely good race, almost on the same level or maybe on the same level that you had in the past. But it won't happen another week uh, again, you know. You have this very one good race and then you're done, yeah. And you need a lot of recovery to get to get it back. There was an article in, uh, in online a couple of weeks ago from Chris Sutton, the coach of uh, the former coach of Chrissy Wellington, who said that she could only go to the well so many times, only push herself that many times. And you are a guy who has raced so incredibly hard over your career. You know, you've been a front runner, you've been out there, you've pushed the pace. Is there for you a finite supply of times that you can go to the well and dip into those reserves? It definitely is. I mean, if you speak to the to the um, sports scientists, they will tell you that um, the amount of muscle breakdown and damage that you do with every, every Ironman at that level um, simply takes something out of you, and you won't be able to race there forever. On a physical side, not to mention the mental side, um, um, I've mentioned it before that in Kona this last year um, I was a bit disappointed because I couldn't I couldn't deliver the performance that was in me um, I strongly believe that I could have run 252 and I ran three hours about three hours and one or something and uh, I was unable to get into that pain zone to leave that comfort zone, comfort zone it was impossible I still had memories of uh, my racing in Frankfurt where I, th I really do think that I left a part of my soul on that course, <laughs> on the banks of the main river. <laughs> and, uh, and this is impossible. I, you, you know, you, you can't do that all the time. But, you know, some people can never do it. So I'd rather do it at some time <laughs> and, uh, and win and be great and, uh, and then uh, not having it at others. But, uh, but being able to put it out at some days is, is, is enough for me.